Three people are in a car in Hualien. Grandma Jones is driving. Two of her grandchildren, Roger and Patty, are with her. They are going to a tea house. Grandma and Roger are telling Patty about Taiwan. Patty is excited. This is her second day in Taiwan. She is having a lot of fun already. Grandma, Roger, and Patty get to the tea house. It is beautiful. Patty thinks about tea. She remembers her last day with her mom. Patty, come and drink some tea with me. I can't, mom. I'm too excited. I'm leaving for Taiwan today. <laughs> I know, but have some tea. Sit down and relax. Okay, okay. Let me pour the tea for you. I can't do this again for three months. Are you sad, Mom? Yes, my little girl is leaving. Mom, I'm not little. I'm 17 years old. Daddy. I have something for you. A journal? <laughs> uh -huh. Thanks. Write about all your Taiwan adventures. Okay. Thanks, Mom. You are staying with your dad's brother and his family, but please go see my sister and her family too. <laughs> okay. Explore Hualien, take a lot of pictures, but be careful. I know. Don't worry, Mom. Okay, honey. I love you. Patty, are you listening to us? What? Oh, Grandma, I'm sorry. I'm thinking about Mom. I understand. Your mom is wonderful. My son married the right girl. <laughs> so, Patty, what is your favorite tea? I like all kinds of tea. Well, which kind do you like best? Green, red, or oolong tea? Red tea? What's that? It's black tea. People call it red tea here. Interesting. Here is a menu, Patty. Sorry, Grandma. <laughs> I can't read Chinese. You can't? Well, you're going to learn to read some Chinese this summer. <laughs> okay. Do you like fruit tea? Or how about flower tea? Flowers in tea. Yeah, like chamomile or jasmine. Oh, those are flowers? I didn't know. Can you just choose something for me? Good idea. Roger, you come here often. Choose something wonderful for Patty. There are so many teas on the menu. How can you choose just one? You keep coming back until you try them all. And there are other things on the menu besides tea. Really? Do they have coffee? No, not at this tea house. But they do have some food. Food? At a tea house? Cool! Let's order some food. Hi, Roger. Who is this? Do you have a new girlfriend? She's pretty. Thank you. But I'm not Roger's girlfriend. I'm his grandmother. <laughs> I know, Mrs. Jones. Hi, Derek. This is my cousin, Patty. She's staying with us this summer. Hello, Patty. It's nice to meet you. It's nice to meet you, too. You don't look like Roger. <laughs> well, our dads are brothers, but my mom is Chinese. She's from Hualien. Derek, we're ready to order. Oh, OK. <clears throat> Hi, I'm Derek. I am your waiter today. What can I get for you? I would like some oolong tea. I would like some green tea. And Patty will have fruit tea. 
We'd also like some chicken feet and blood rice cake. Okay. I'll be right back. Chicken feet? Yes, you'll love them. <laughs> wow. Taiwan really is different from America. Here is your tea and food. Oh, this looks so pretty. The teapots and the little teacups. I have to take a picture. I can take the picture, Patty. You can be in it. That will be more beautiful. Oh, okay. Wait, let's pour some tea into the cups. Then, let's hold our cups and... Ouch! Are you okay? I think so. Wow, that's a hot. I haven't had traditional tea like this for years. We usually use tea bags in America. Are you sure you didn't burn your fingers, Patty? Yeah, I'm okay. Look, my fingers aren't even red. These little teacups get really hot really fast. I remember now. How's your tea, Patty? It's wonderful. You should try some of mine, too. Okay. Ouch! Derek, you burned me. What? No, I didn't, Jim. Yes, you did. You spilled a pot of tea on me. Look at my clothes. They're all wet. And so is my arm. Uh, I'm really sorry. How did that happen? I didn't touch your teapot. Yes, you did. You are a terrible server. You should be fired. Fired? No, I really need this job. Excuse me, I'm sure it was just an accident. How do you know? Did you see it happen? Well, no. Did anyone here see what happened? That's what I thought. Derek wouldn't spill hot tea on you on purpose. Well, he did. I am going to talk to your boss. Lao Ban, Lao Ban. Excuse me, but Jim is lying. Dear Journal, I'm having Taiwan adventures already. Grandma and Roger took me to a traditional tea house yesterday. The building was beautiful and the tea was delicious. I liked drinking tea made from tea leaves instead of tea bags. I also liked the blood rice cake. It was yummy. Grandma told me about other tea houses she has been to. She has lived in Taiwan for 50 years, so she's been to a lot of tea houses. A really exciting thing happened at the tea house. A customer, Jim, said that Derek, our server, spilled hot tea on him and burned him. But Jim didn't act like he was in pain. Also, if Jim's skin were burned, it should be red and hot. His arm was wet, but not red, so I knew he lied. Then we checked Jim's table. His pot of tea was almost full, and we found a half-empty water bottle. Jim must have poured the water on himself. We found out that Jim is jealous of Derek. Jim wanted Derek's job, but the boss hired Derek instead of Jim. Well. I'm going to bed. It's only 8 o'clock, but jet lag is making me so tired. The Taiwan Traveler, Patty. Patty is in her room. She is singing. 
Patty puts on big earrings. She also puts on many bracelets. Patty is excited. Patty is singing karaoke tonight. She and Roger are going to a KTV place. Patty's aunt and cousin are going too. Patty gets her bag. Roger comes into Patty's room. Roger doesn't like KTV. Patty, Patty, please listen to me. I can't sing. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. I believe you. Then don't sing tonight at KTV. Patty, you don't understand. Everyone sings at KTV. Really? Bad singers too? Why? Because KTV is a group activity. Everyone must sing. Well, just sing with other people. All right, fine. Let's go. Wait. Do you like my KTV outfit? Sure. Do you like these earrings? Yes, they're fine. Patty, are you nervous? A little. Why? Because lots of people might hear me sing. Who? Only your aunt and cousin are going, and we have our own room. Really? In America, everyone sings in the same place. Karaoke is different here. Great! I can sing more songs in our own room. Patty, this is your aunt Susie and your cousin. Hi, Patty. You can call me Susie, Ai. Ai. Ai means aunt in Chinese. Hi, I'm your cousin Brian. Oh, hi. I'm happy to meet you both again. Me too. I haven't seen you in ten years. You're so tall now. I really like your hair. Yes, your curly hair is beautiful. Thank you. I don't know a lot of people with curly hair. Most Chinese have straight hair. So, Roger, do you want to sing first? Brian, I don't like singing. You know that. <laughs> Susie, Ai, this place isn't crowded. But it will be soon. We already have a room. I made a reservation. Good thinking. Making the reservation was Brian's idea. He's so smart. We call him Brian the Brain. Mom, don't tell Patty that. <laughs> so, how much does a KTV room cost? Bigger rooms cost more. Smaller rooms cost less. Our room. Costs 900 NT. Oh no no! This is my treat. Really? Thanks, Susie Ai. Come on, let's go. Patty, is this your first time singing karaoke? No. I sang karaoke in America one time, but it wasn't like this. What is it like in America? There is one big room, and you have to sing in front of strangers. Really? I would be too nervous. Me too. That's why I never did karaoke in America. <laughs> is there food at karaoke places in America? Yes, but there are no servers. Xia <gasps> Xia, wow, this food looks so good. Do you like squid balls, Patty? I don't know. This is my first time to eat squid balls. <laughs> Squid balls are my favorite KTV snack. Okay, everyone, pick your songs. 
Patty, look for songs in this book. Wow, there are so many English songs. Many people here like to sing popular English songs. There are also Japanese songs. Really? Do Japanese people come here a lot? <sighs> no, but many people here enjoy singing Japanese songs. Fun! Can you sing Japanese songs? No, but mom can. Later, it's Roger's turn. <gasps> Roger? My ears hurt. Hey! Roger, you aren't a bad singer. Really? Maybe I can sing another song. No! <laughs> hey, let's order some dessert. Ooh, good idea! Who gets the microphone now? What's the next song? The next song is New York, New York. Oh, I want to sing that song. But I really like that song. Me too. <laughs> All three of you sing it. I'll order the desserts. What does everyone want? They have pudding and cake. You are a good singer, and you're a good dancer. I like to dance. Do people usually dance at KTV? No, but you do. <laughs> what song do you want to sing next? Hey, something fell out of the songbook. Let me see. Wow, an envelope with 7,000 NT. Let's take it to the front desk. Good idea. We found this in room 401. It was in the songbook. That's mine. Why did you put 7,000 NT in a songbook? My friend gave it to me. I put it in the book while I talked to her. Then I forgot the money when we left. Which room did you leave the money in? Room 401. She's telling the truth. That's the right room. She heard us say that. If this is your money, then you will know how many bills there are. Well, um, there are seven, of course. Seven 1,000 NT bills. Wrong. This isn't your money. Dear Journal, what an exciting week. I saw my mom's sister and her son for the first time in 10 years. Aunt Susie is so nice. She told me to call her Susie Ai. She is a lot of fun. She is a good singer. My cousin Brian is really smart. I think we will be good friends this summer. He and I sang A Whole New World from Aladdin together. We also ate squid balls. They were really good. We also solved a small mystery. We found 7,000 NT in our KTV room. A woman said the money was hers. She knew what room we found the money in, but she only knew because she overheard us. She didn't know that there were six 1,000 NT bills and two 
500 NT bills. When we gave the money to the real owner, he was very thankful. Well, it's time for me to get some sleep. I'm sure there will be more to write next week. The KTV singer, Patty. Here we are! This is the entrance to Taroko Gorge. What a pretty gate. Let's take some pictures. Okay. Everyone, stand over there. Great. Now let's see the gorge. Okay. Get in the car. Tell me more about the gorge. What can we do here? We can do lots of things. We can hike. Yes, we can hike to some waterfalls. Okay. There are some easy trails and some hard trails. Let's hike on the easy trails. One trail is not far from here. It goes to the Eternal Spring Shrine. Can we hike that trail? Is it an easy trail? Sure, let's go. What a beautiful view. And this is a beautiful place. It is. Look at the water. The shrine is over a waterfall. That's cool. I like this place. It is so peaceful. Me too. Brian, what does Taroko mean? It means beautiful in the Amis language. That's a good name for this place. Dear Journal, today I went to Taroko Gorge with Grandma, Roger, and Brian. What a beautiful place! The gorge walls are so steep. The gorge is part of Taiwan's Cross Island Highway. Workers built this highway in the 1950s. Hundreds of workers died building it. I saw their names at the Eternal Spring Shrine. Lots of people visit Taroko Gorge. It's a very popular place. Taroko is the largest marble gorge in the world. The road through it is next to the Li Wu River. It's so pretty. I loved looking up at the gorge walls and then down into the river. I really liked the Tunnel of Nine Turns. Some parts of the tunnel are open. You can look down at the river, and in some places, the gorge is really narrow. You can't see the sky. The mountains around here are really beautiful. They are so different from the mountains at home in Colorado. Mountains here are not as high, and they have a lot more trees. Tonight, we are staying in a hotel in the gorge. Tomorrow, we'll hike more and visit another waterfall. Brian told me about so many beautiful places here. I want to see them all. I already love Taroko Gorge. The Taroko Traveler, Patty. Good morning, Patty. Did you sleep well? Oh, yes. I'm ready for another hike. Which waterfall are we going to see? Grandma wants to hike to Bai Young Waterfall. Is that a long hike? No, but you begin the hike with a walk through a tunnel. Fun! Where are Brian and Grandma? They're still eating breakfast. Brian is a slow eater. We're here! 
How many manto did you eat, Brian? Only four. That's a lot. Well, let's go. Okay. We'll drive about 300 meters. Then we walk through a long tunnel. Are there lights in the tunnel? No. We'll walk in the dark. It will be an adventure. <laughs> okay. Don't worry, Patty. I brought flashlights. <laughs> Patty, Grandma, Roger, and Brian walk to the Bai Young Waterfall Trail. They walk into the long tunnel and then out the other side. They walk along the trail and look at the beautiful views. Patty takes lots of pictures. Soon they can see the falls. They walk across a suspension bridge. Patty doesn't like the bridge at all. It sways too much. What are we going to do now? We'll take another hike. Are you tired of hiking yet? Oh no, I love to hike. I love mountain scenery. Then let's hike the Mystery Valley Trail. The scenery is very pretty there. It's also an easy hike. But that trail is now called Saka Dang Trail. Oh, that's right. The name changed. Well, get in the car. We need to drive to the trailhead. The scenery is pretty here, Grandma. Look at those big striped rocks in the river. I'm hot. Let's go swimming. No, sorry. Swimming here is too dangerous. On the way back, we'll stop at the Bridge of Motherly Devotion. We can go down to the river there <laughs> and put our feet in the water. That's a strange name for a bridge. Maybe, but it's beautiful. Well, I've seen enough scenery for one day. Let's go to the bridge. All right, but let me take one more picture. Everyone stand right there. that girl want? She looks upset. She's yelling for help. Please help me. What's wrong? That boy just stole my camera. Stop him. He's getting away with my camera. I'll get him. What happened? I had my camera out. I took some pictures of those big rocks. Then I saw that boy coming toward me. And what did he do? He pushed me down into the dirt. Then he took my camera. That's terrible. Please get my camera back for me. We'll try. By the way, I really like your pants. Thanks. They're nice, aren't they? Mm. And clean. Do you hike here often? No, I just came here from Taipei. The views here are beautiful. He says this is his camera. It's not. It's my camera. 
Who is telling the truth? I know. I can't believe that girl lied to us. She thought she could fool us. She fooled me. Not me. She said she fell in the dirt, but her pants were spotless. She was really upset when you told her that. She was, but I hope she learned her lesson. Me too. Now let's go wade in the river. And then have a nice dinner.